Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow region. Now I'm not in the centre of Moscow today, I'm actually out in the suburbs right where I live. Now this is my main shopping centre behind me, this is Melodia shopping centre. Now there is actually a nice big supermarket in there but we're not going to go to that. We're going to go check out a Russian typical supermarket, Magnit. Now it's a few minutes walk from here so we're going to head on over there and check it out. Now the interesting thing today, and I knew this was going to happen in the next week or two, is they've closed off the road going down to the supermarket. There is a side path still there but they're actually remodeling the train station here and they're putting a new platform and they're building a new well road I think and although the sun's right in our eyes right here they're doing a lot of work because they're building a new line that'll run this is going to be the actual terminating station all the way through Moscow 86 kilometers of uh, train line they're building that starts right here where I live and heads into Moscow and how cool is this they're uh, moving on with it pretty fast they're looking to open this by the end of the year so they've got about five or six months to get all this done and ready and then check it out here on the side if you don't need to go to the supermarket they've actually got fruit and veg right here for sale on the side of the street here very nice they've got some uh, seasonal fruits strawberries are kind of the seasonal item at the moment plenty of strawberries there's even the ones to make jams right here on the end and then the magnet is just up ahead of us on the left these guys have just come from there they're looking at carrying their meat magnet bags and let's get over there shall we now one last thing before i head on inside it's kind of interesting how many shops you have before you even get to the supermarket so there is a supermarket in the shopping center there's the fruit and veg just on the street there there's some smaller shops right here kind of behind this kind of front store here is the magnet and then off in the distance there is april which is actually a food market or rinnock which has got everything as well but in a little bit more of a market style uh, open uh, shop format and then here's where we're going to okay, come so to. let's walk on inside magnet shall we now there is a tendency to want to say magnet as in the object that attaches to metal but it's really pronounced magnet so it's open seven days a week 8 a.m till 11 p.m so no problems at all with this uh, trading hours seven days a week now when you come into this particular magnet they actually have a little uh, bakery off to the side here now this is actually separate from the supermarket itself but very nice fresh pastries and breads and there's even a little mini butchers here with the meat which is very nice very well Zdravstvati <laughs> so yeah there's a little bit of a store within a store when you walk in and then this is the main kind of entrance to Magnet now of course this is the town where I live so I've been here hundreds and hundreds of times now just recently they actually installed here one of these kind of pop-up uh, nut stands with dried fruits and nuts and I didn't know what these were called in the other video walnuts so thanks to people who posted in the comments and they've even got the RC Cola up there as well has anybody heard of RC Cola now this magnet is basically a traditional supermarket uh, this is one of the kind of smaller versions of magnet they do have bigger stores and they've even uh, this year they're going to introduce kind of mini kind of almost uh, like micro supermarkets now magnet itself has more than 18,000 locations in Russia so these are the direct competition to Pitorichka so if you've been watching recent videos I went to a Pitorichka actually around about 10 minute walk from here now in the town where I am here there is actually three magnets this is the nearest one to the center of town lots of fruits and veg uh, bananas looking a little bit green but I would imagine they were put out today so these will be the newest ones kiwis 
some grapefruits, orange, and have a look when you walk right in. The beer fridge with Budweiser right there. 64 rubles for a bottle of Budweiser. I will put a few prices up on the screen. I'm not really gonna show all the prices in here because there's obviously too much to cover. Here's some of the other leaves and mushrooms. They have a very small uh, frozen section in this store. I mean, if you've got a butcher in the entranceway, you don't really need to come to a, get frozen uh, chickens and meats, but they're here if you want them. It's actually quite reasonably priced as well. So if you want some uh, meats from this store, I mean, literally within a five minute walk of here, there's five butcher shops. So there's a lot of other places to shop. So it's, uh, you've got a lot of choices to compare with coming here. Here's all the different uh, finishing sauces and sachets for making uh, meals, ketchups. And there's uh, vinegar there, plenty of Heinz ketchup. So as is very normal and very typical in every supermarket in Russia, onions, potatoes is pretty much the uh, main kind of thing on show. There's some carrots there. There's some cauliflower. Is this red cabbage? I'm not sure, let me know everybody if it's called a red cabbage. And then the tomato sauce. One thing that might be different depending on where you live in the world is a lot of the tomato sauces come in these kind of like uh, pouches or bags with a little lid on the top. But you can get there the Heinz. Despite everybody telling me that Heinz has left Russia, it's definitely here. <laughs> now it's interesting in almost the two years that I've been making videos and particularly covering supermarkets, shopping centers, I've never been to a Magnet. Now this is my local Magnet. Uh, the staff even know me here. Actually one of them is even a subscriber, so she'll be happy to see her store in one of the videos. And here we've got the kind of dairy section and all of the refrigerated foods, cheeses, hams, sausages, and then over this side, the incredibly limited canned section. And I pointed out in a few videos about how little canned food there is in Russia. There is a tiny bit of fruits, and then you've got corn and peas, and I don't even see olives here. All of the pickled vegetables down here, the gherkins, pickled tomatoes, kind of pickled anything, and then some different uh, canned fish, tuna, salmons, oils, eggs. Let's have a look. The absolute basic box of 10 eggs is 58 rubles for the classic everyday box of eggs. Actually, no matter which one you look at here, they're all 57 rubles, 52 rubles, 89 rubles. So you don't even have to get the cheap ones. You can get the nicer ones and they're not much different. Plenty of different uh, packaged seafood. And the salmons, there's the different fish. If you like that kind of thing, it's not something I like. My wife likes anything in every store we come into. Here's all the different mayonnaise. And you can see there's so many different flavors of mayonnaise as well. It's not just the classic type of mayonnaise, so you can get them with any other additional ingredient in there. And then there's the different uh, milk and sour cream, cottage cheese. And then it looks like they've got some long life milk on special here. So they've got yellow signs with the markdowns on some things. This is long life milk. And then they've got cameras in here. And for some reason, every time you walk past them, they make a kind of a noise. There it goes. I'm not sure what that lady's telling me on the microphone, but <laughs> there's, uh, if you want a nice big bag of salt or sugar, I think, I think it might be sugar, I think, five kilos. And then, we're a little bit trapped here, so we'll just walk around the other way. Now, considering this is reasonably sized store, they always have a lot of stuff 
kind of in the middle aisle of the store. No matter when you come in here, it's as though they get oversupplied on a very regular basis. Here's all the yogurts and then the flavored drinkable yogurts. I'm not a big fan of yogurt. I did eat a lot on the cruise ships when I was working on them, but not anymore. And then they've got again all this kind of middle aisle here. It's meant to be kind of like a pop-up kind of uh, bulk quantity kind of uh, section here, but they just end up with the pallets from the deliveries here. All of the different teas and coffees, plenty of teas. This uh, Greenfields brand and then Richard is pretty well known in Russia. Got all the different sizes, jars of coffee. Now let me know in the comments, are you a tea drinker? Are you a coffee drinker? What do you prefer? Here's some dry biscuits. So there is essentially everything in here. You could do your soul shopping in here. Uh, the fact that we're very close to town gives you a bit of a chance to go to quite a few different places. There's all the personal care items, toothpaste, shampoos, ladies products, and then the cats and the dogs get just as big a space as all the personal care items. So there's all of these different kind of single serve uh, pet foods, all the classic brands that we see in a lot of the different videos. Pedigree there, Felix, Kit Kat, Kitty Cat, Kit Kat. I think I've got the name wrong. You know, this is kind of interesting and I know I show this and then some people get tired of me talking about it, but the uh, people that were Coca-Cola, which is now Dobra, they seem to have done very well to get all of these off-location uh, bins. These are called off-location bins in the stores, squeezed everywhere with all the different sodas. There's a little bit of variety stuff here, a little bit of stuff for your kitchen. It's a little bit uh, not organized, but it kind of is organized at the same time. And then the washing powders, and this is the one that we tried for our dishwasher, but we don't really like it. Now we realize why it's only a few hundred rubles. We need to stick to the other brands. Здравствуйте! Очень приятно! I'm very well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, duh. And then they don't have an in-house bakery here, but obviously we saw the bread outside in the corridor there. So there's more than enough bread. There isn't a couple of bakeries very close walking distance from this as well, but all this is packaged bread that would come in every morning. And then most of the time they only get four or six of something. There's no need to get whole trays and shelves of it because it's just short expiry so I get a few days worth and get another delivery and then here's my little aisle that I know very well where I come and buy chocolates of course you probably know I love Alpine Gold and they don't even have my classic Alpine Gold here and it's actually even on reduced price for 49 rubles right now but they don't have the one I like and even milk is on special and they don't have my favorite Milka here either, which is the one with banana, Milka banana. If you've not had it, find it and have yourself some. All of the cookies and biscuits and pretty much all the magnets that you go to have a very big selection of the pay by weight candy. And this one actually, you just put it in a bag and then they actually weigh it for you at the register. In a lot of stores, they have the machine where you actually weigh it yourself. There is a nice big collection of them and there's all of the upscale and luxury chocolates up here as well Ferrero Rocher, Raffaello so there's no shortage of snacks and foods in the different uh, magnets that you come to now if you're a first time watcher of the channel welcome to watching traveling with Russell videos of course but if you're a long time watcher you know I've done other videos in other supermarkets and I want to show you here Harry's American Sandwich. Now, if anybody who's maybe from America, can you tell me if Harry's is a brand? Now, the one thing that probably doesn't show up well on the camera is how white this bread is. It is absolutely 
bleached white bread and it's really tucked in the corner here but it's actually a bread I've never purchased actually there's quite a fair bit of it now looking on the other shelves there I normally buy the bread over here the kind of smaller uh, loaf breads but has anybody heard of Harry's American sandwich bread before such an interesting brand here in this store actually it's in a few other uh, supermarket chains but just such an interesting <laughs> name for the bread here's all the different chips I don't also see my favorite flavor of Lay's today either now uh, I was hoping they've got the spare rib flavor which I do like but I want the chicken wing flavor which is even better Buongiorno, buongiorno is the Italian uh, <laughs> word on the chips right there. And then on this other side here is all the different beers. And then they've conveniently got the beer snacks hanging right over the bottled beer. So there's quite a lot of different choices of beer for this supermarket. And then there's a wine selection. We'll kind of pass through here and then their actual alcohol section predominantly is just vodka. And then there's some um, brandies, uh, cognacs and armagnacs at the end there, but it's dominated by all the different vodkas that you can buy in all the different brands. There's not any actual, I guess, Western brands of vodkas. Obviously, we're in Russia. There should only be Russian vodkas here, but things like Stolichnaya, Smirnov, uh, Absolute, Grey Goose. You don't see a bottle of it on the shelf. Now, I just want to make sure that I thank all the staff uh, for letting me come and do a walk around. Of course, it's completely allowed to film in public places in Russia. I do like to be polite and ask them first and just let them know I'm going to make a video. And uh, they actually know me here because I've been here before. So thank you, ladies, for letting me make a video in your store. Now, I've just found another stack of Lay's kind of randomly on the shelf here. And check it out. They've got the cucumber flavored Lay's cucumber flavor. Now I wonder if my spicy chicken ones are uh, were just seasonal. And they do actually have a kind of aisle here for all the different baby foods. There's kind of the, again, these kind of plastic squeezy type packaging ones. And there's some of the classic jarred brands as well. And then here's some of the, I guess these are oats and porridges. This is kind of the baby formulas, I think, is the ones on the top there. Nestle, Nan, Nestle, we have this in Australia. And then there's the uh, nappies, we call them in Australia. Here in America, I think they call them diapers. So, yeah, Pampers, pretty well-known brand. There's also Huggies down there. So, yeah, there's the, all the mainstream brands, even the kids' shampoos. Kids toothpaste. Now the one thing I want to point out with this magnet compared to going to the Pitorichkas and a lot of the bigger hypermarkets is they don't have self-checkout. They've got the ladies on the register here so there's uh, the two, actually there's five registers if they were all here. There's actually two open over here at the moment and then the one over here which actually has got some tobacco for sale. You can see the to back here so they've not got it on display but you can uh, check out at these uh, different registers coca-cola the sticker is still here why haven't you peeled the sticker off they've got the dobra in the cupboard and then all the different dobra brands there's energy drinks and it'll be not russia if i didn't show you the caviar in the fridge here with the vodka, they've got the Beluga vodka, which is a very, very nice vodka and caviar right in the uh, kind of the grab and go fridge at the register here when you come and pay. So I think that's very interesting. When I walked in the entrance, I didn't actually show these fruits right at the front here. Now, anytime you come into this particular magnet, they've always got the uh, seasonal fruits. So at the moment there's some peaches, which are not very big, but they look very nice and I think these are uh, nectarines let me know what the difference are these different nectarines here 
and then cherries. Lots of cherries at the moment, and then these aren't very seasonal, but there's <laughs> pineapples, coconuts. I wonder where they've come from. There's also pomegranates. And then around here, more cherries. And there's some, even some grapes. Grapes are a little expensive because they're out of season, but you can still get them. Okay, everybody, I'm heading on out of Magnet now. Uh, I did actually grab a couple of things. I actually brought a bag with me as well. So good to recycle the plastic bags where you can. Now, I want to thank again the ladies for letting me do a nice walk around in the video, in the shop there. It's always nice when, uh, you know, you kind of ask beforehand, all right, to make a video. What do you think of Magnet? Now, this is absolutely as typical of a supermarket in Russia as you can get. Now, of course, the bigger hypermarkets like Globus and Ashan are also typical. They're also around the big cities, but this particular chain Magnet, they have 18,000 of them throughout Russia, 18,000. It's insane. Any town, city, place in Russia, you can find a Magnet to shop in. So let me know how typical this is to where you live in the world. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you liked it, I don't have any hands free for a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. I'm pretty sure I'll get one or two on the video because that's normal. Uh, I've not covered every supermarket in Russia just yet, so there's going to be more videos to come as we walk past a very nice flower stall right here. Now that the uh, sun is out, blue skies, it's a great time to uh, plant some flowers in the garden. So yeah, I put another video for you to watch after this one. You can click that right away afterwards if you want to see a new video that maybe you haven't seen on the channel before. And I'm off another adventure. Bye everybody.